Payback is a story about a, a woman whose husband is murdered at the beginning of the story and she very quickly discovers that he was laundering money for an organised crime boss. And so she has to kind of try to figure out a way to um, manage what's coming at her from the police about her husband's affairs and the way that they're investigating and the threat that's coming from Scary Mullen. Um, and yeah, it's just a kind of twisty psychological cat and mouse yeah. situation. My guy just kind of arrives and does lots of threats and, 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 and he keeps up the threats for six hours worth. <laughs> Easily. Pretty much. I mean, Lexi's just like a, she's just a happy mother of two young kids that's been off on maternity leave, like extended maternity leave. She's about to go back to work. She's got a very happy family, and then, and then her husband is murdered in the street in a way that she thinks is random. Um, so she goes from sort of this very comfortable living situation to just the rug completely pulled out from under her, and she's got no family support, no friend support. She's just got a scary gangster. The whole dynamic between uh, bully and bullied, good guy, bad guy, is the the bully only looks like a bully depending on how the bullied behave. So this nonsense that some actors have that they'll be unpleasant to another actor on the day, it's the opposite happens mm -hmm. because it's all the trust. So if if if, you, if the other actor knows you're just playing the bad guy then they'll empower you by looking really appropriately scared, animated, whatever it may be. If, if they feel you've been a complete bastard to them all day long for this one scene, quite like, rightly, they'll resist. So what you'll have actually is an actor not willing to look bullied mm -hmm. because that's, that's making your performance look better. So yeah. ironically, the, the more you get on, the more you trust each other, then, then the more you can play the roles the way they should be played which yeah. is the power dynamic and because if if so if the character has to be super vulnerable with his character mm. if i'm defensive mm. then i can't i have to i have to use the like the i have to be able to be vulnerable to be defensive as the character i can't it can't sort of go the other way around if that makes sense so um i mean that's the only reason why we got on was just to serve the work <laughs> i don't actually like <laughs> no Oh. We, we, we did make it work for creative purposes, didn't we? Always. Yeah. No, I never thought of it as a crime drama. I thought of it as a psychological thriller, like a sort of a psychological cat and mouse mm. story. Yeah, yeah. Um, What's lovely is that it's at the centre of it is the idea that here's this poor young woman who discovers her husband isn't who he said he was. Mm. And ironically, the, the bad guy had a kind of surrogate son, which is her husband. And it turns out he wasn't the guy that he thought he was. So you've got two people working around a false identity and a false belief. And ironically, that's what brings them together. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was always a fascinating kind of concept. No, definitely working from home is a big, big, big plus. Big plus. Not in a not... COVID way. <laughs> <laughs> but neither of us have had that many opportunities in the last you know, couple of years to, to, to actually film and work in Scotland. There's mm -hmm. not enough getting made in Scotland, sadly. Certainly not in films, you no. know. There was a scene in a farmhouse, uh, an abandoned farmhouse, I think. I think it's maybe like episode five, four or five. Mm. Um, that's pretty intense. I don't want to say too much about it, because it, it, there's obviously a lot happens in the episodes before you get to that, but there's a scene in a farmhouse and that's about as hairy as it gets, I think. Ah, ah that was great fun. That was great. Yeah, we, get, we, get, we got to play around with levels of awfulness and cruelty and 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 all that sort of stuff which was great fun to yeah. do i think uh, people really like suspense don't they and like i know i really loved shows like ozark and like shows where there's like a lot of suspense and i think it does that i hope it does that I don't know, mm. because again i haven't seen it but um that's what we were aiming for yeah, yeah. and it definitely felt like that on set so i think um yeah, and honestly, if you just want to see me being really, really bullied. Yeah, yeah, lots of that. Um, she yeah, cries a lot. Jesus. A lot. <laughs>